I'm Peter Holcomb. I want to share with you my latest mod that's made the back of my Revel van safe, secure, and super efficient. So having a Revel, you have this amazing, large, cavernous space in the garage. And that is wonderful, right? But the problem with it is you can put a bunch of stuff in this cavernous garage, and as soon as you go around a sharp corner, it all avalanches in on itself. So I wanted a way to keep all my stuff in the back of my garage organized, easy access, and also to protect those things. So I went with a long, tried and true method. I've been building decks and drawer systems for all of my vehicles since the early 90s. I used these in my Toyota pickups. I would sleep on the deck. I would keep my gear underneath. It worked awesome. So why wouldn't this work in a Revel? I couldn't think of a reason, so I built one. With the Revel, there was a few things that I wanted to do a little differently to make it just perfect. One is having one drawer larger than the other drawer. This allows me to access with, with just one door open, I can still open this drawer and get anything I need out of it. That is really key. Um, I didn't want to have to always open both back doors because I had two symmetrical drawers. That seemed like a pain. So I let the doors and the opening and the space that Mercedes gave us with these doors to dictate the size of my drawers and it just happened to work out perfectly that all of my photography gear fits perfect in this drawer. And then once I get to camp, I can open up the whole thing. I have the big drawer with all the stuff that I'm gonna need around camp. Camping gear, uh, more camping gear, ground mats, my onboard air hose, mountain bike helmets, you, know, you name it, it's all in here. And then I used one of the bungee pockets it's actually the bungee pocket that goes right here. I removed it because the drawers were gonna kind of interfere with it, but I reinstalled it inside of my drawer. So now I can keep little things, like um, this is my laundry line. I can keep that in there, and it always stays right here at the end of the drawer where it's nice and organized. I know where to put my hands on it when I need it. We learned a really neat trick from our friends at Epic Family Road Trip. They're a family of five traveling in a Jeep. Now they're in two Jeeps, but they came up with this system when they went to New Zealand, I believe, where they each got a duffel bag and they could bring anything they wanted, but it had to fit in their duffel bag. That was their limit. I thought that was a great idea, especially when we moved into the Revel from our view, which we had all kinds of room in the view, but we had to be a little more discerning moving into the Revel on what we brought. Everything has to serve a purpose. Everything has to be multifunctional, hopefully, or be very important. And so, Having these bags lets us really hone in on what we're gonna need for the next leg of our journey. So often we're, we're organizing it by the summer, by the winter. Um, spring and fall is kind of a blend of the two, usually where we're traveling. Um, but it's really nice to be able to sort out your gear going into summer and you can maybe get rid of as many sweaters and pants and add in more shorts and t-shirts. And, um, but no matter what you do, it's all got to fit in this bag. When we're fully loaded, we can get three gear bags across the back, three gear bags across the front. We usually keep clothing in the front, kayaking gear in the back, and um, helps us stay organized in the morning when we're getting dressed and whatnot. We don't have to come out and um, access anything from the back or even lift the bed. We, we usually lift the bed just like three or four inches, slide the duffel bags out and get anything you need from inside the van and then you slide them right back and off we go down the road. When the, when the bed is down, it pinches the bags just like half an inch and holds everything super nice and secure. For the water fill, I have a 45 degree brass elbow. On the end of that, I put a quick release that then goes onto my hose and allows me to easily just snap my hose on and off 
I no longer have to screw a hose on each time. I don't know about you, but that's kind of a pain. It's so much easier just to snap it on, snap it off with the quick release fittings. The hose can go right through here on the side, click right in, and it's super easy to fill my tanks. On the left side, I still have full access to the switches for the lights, the USB and power outlets, and the circuit breaker. Now, these drawers are built out of Baltic birch, three quarter inch plywood. Um, it's a really nice plywood. It's smooth on both sides. And um, so it's a really quality plywood. Then once I built the drawer system, I took it to Linex and I found this Linex place in Chickasha, Oklahoma, and they got a great rep, had a great reputation for doing quality work and doing kind of different things. You know, I, I saw on their website a lot of where they sprayed whole cars and done them in different colors and put a lot of attention and detail into it. So I, after talking to them on the phone, I was sure that they were the ones that I wanted to help me coat this drawer system. Okay, so the drawers. They open and close pretty easily, not, not too easily, not where they're jiggling around when I'm going down the road, but this is thanks to the bottom of these drawers has a, an eighth inch piece of high density polyethylene plastic. This plastic serves as a lubricant or a slider that the drawers can slide on, and that makes a big difference. I didn't wanna go with the metal drawer sliders just because they, they take up a little bit of space on the sides of your drawers, and I wanted to keep these as tight as I could get them to this outside wall so I had more space for more gear. A nice thing about having a drawer also is something that is back here, I can bring it out to me. I don't have to crawl in there. I can now slide it out and get into this gear bag and get anything I need that's in the back. And then when I'm done, it goes back in its spot. Super easy. One other thing that I think is really fun, um, this cord, it's actually an old climbing rope that I used to make the handles. This is out of my very first 95 Toyota Tacoma pickup that had a similar drawer system. It wasn't near this pretty. But this handle has been in all of my vehicles all the way up until this one. So I think it's kind of neat to think of all the adventures that this piece of rope has been on and has been actually a part of. So sure, I could have gone with something more fancy here for the opening, but you know, it's hard to beat your tried and true climbing rope handle. It just works. Okay, I wanna go on the inside. I wanna show you the newest addition to my drawer system. This is something I've never built before. It's brand new, but I'm really excited about it. All right, so we had our van in Croatia and we did this sea kayaking trip where it was a full week kayaking around the Isle of Rab. It was awesome. The one downside to that trip is we had to leave our revel in this one city park with this tiny little street light shining on it and really no security, no nothing. Anybody could have just walked up to it at any time and probably taken anything they wanted. Luckily, Croatia is a pretty safe place and we had zero issues but I was a little concerned with that on this trip. So thinking of my second Revel drawer system, how can I make it better? Well, I wanted a way to have some hidden and secure storage with a safe. This allows me to then lift this deck up, slide it off to the side, and inside here I have a locking cold rolled steel safe by a company called Locker Down. This thing's 37 inches by 12 by 12. It is a vast space to store any of my valuables and anything that I really wanna keep secure. Even if someone breaks into my van, this thing is bolted to the floor and is gonna be a whole nother list of headaches for this person to get into. Um, the company called Locker Down makes these. They're made for police cars and whatnot, for police officers to keep weapons in, but it is a perfect, size and shape for me to keep cameras and all my hard drives and that sort of thing in. This handle doubles as where the vent comes up for the heater. So this allows the hot air to still come up from the heater when the heater's on in the back. Now I left a void here where I can, where I can put some other things, but the main reason for that is to allow my heater to not only circulate hot air up through this cutout, but also there's more cutouts over here that allow me to get hot air to my water tanks to keep all that from freezing when I'm in cold weather. So there it is, my newest drawer creation for my 2021 Revel. It is gonna be awesome. We're gonna take this thing to some amazing places. 
We're still on our quest to go around the world in our Revel, and now we have more capable tools in our 2021 Revel and this storage system to allow us to do that. Stay tuned, I'm gonna have more videos coming up showing all the different mods that we've done on our Revel. Yes, there's more than just a drawer system, but we are trying to build out the ultimate Revel for international global overland travel.